Hello, everyone, and welcome to live interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. And for our live talk unit today, we are going to be talking about dealing with salespeople. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah. There's so many salespeople in Taiwan on the street. Oh yeah, that is kind of a new thing, but they can come up to you, especially around train stations, yeah. busy places like yeah. that. Yeah. And sometimes so, they even hire foreigners. They'll come up to you and they'll like sell you something, and、oh, then they'll、really? have a person translating, saying, "The foreigner thinks you're beautiful. Really? Would you like to buy this product?" Well, as a salesperson, you're always just trying to be interesting. And catch people's attention, so I guess that would work. So, how would you reject a salesperson? Oh, it's a difficult job. I actually was a salesperson for about three days right <laughs> after college. It was hard, but I'm so I I remember that experience. And when people just walk by and don't even look at you, it hurts. You know, that's not nice. So when it's me, I'll just look at them and I'll say, "No, thank you very much." That's very good. And I'll just keep walking because I mean, they might be salespeople, they might be annoying, but they're human beings, and you should treat them with some respect. Yes. But they can be annoying. Today we'll look at an article、yes. which is called "The Latest in Electronics: Rejecting a Sales Pitch."、Mm. So let's look at that right now. Sounds good. Robin sits down at a service desk. A clerk sits across from her. Hi, I have a problem with my cell phone. It won't turn on. I can take a look at it for you. Yeah, this is completely bricked. Luckily, we have some newer models that you'll love. Here's. Wait a minute. You're saying my phone can't be fixed? You know this from simply glancing at it. Ma'am, with all due respect, I know a bricked phone when I see one. I doubt that. I think someone's just a little bit too eager for their sales commission. I'll take my business somewhere else. Thank you very much. All right. So live talk this month is yes about the latest in electronics,、uh, smartphones, wireless headphones, things like that. We're going to be rejecting a sales pitch. When you reject something, basically someone says, "Do you want it?"、No. and you say, "No." By saying no, you are rejecting that thing. Now, what's happening in our scene? It says Robin sits down at a service desk. So she's in a store, and they have somewhere for her to sit at this desk. And a clerk sits across from her. All right. So this is something that might happen at a at a cell phone company, right? They always offer you to to sit down and give you a little bottle of water or something like that. But in this one, we're talking about the latest electronics. Yes.、Ooh. So we have the first word, latest. Now that means the one that's most recent.、Yes. So the latest in electronics is. What's most popular recently?、Mm. What's the latest thing that's out right now?、Mm. So, for example, I don't know what AirPods do. Oh no, that was a long time ago.、Mm. The latest Samsung, that flip phone. Oh, that's the yeah, latest the phone, right? Folding phones, right? Yeah, 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 those are cool. We're、right. like bringing it back now.、Mm. Okay, I have another sentence for you. George's latest book received excellent reviews. So George、mm. is an author. He published a lot of books. The latest one, the one that was just out, got. Great reviews. Yeah. So let's see what problem we're having here in our、uh, dialogue. Okay. So Robin says, "Hi, I have a problem with my cell phone.、Okay. It won't turn on. Uh oh.、Mm. So that means like the screen's dead. It's yeah. black. Yeah. I'm pressing the on button. Nothing. Nobody home. That's right.、Nobody、It's a、home. serious problem with your cell phone. Of course, we would also say smartphone. Right? People often use these. Two words in the same way, and the clerk, the person who works there at the store, says, "I can take a look at it for you." All right, so I can help you. Give me your phone. Let me see what's going on. And the clerk, it says, looks at the phone briefly, a quick look, so he doesn't kind of take it and spend. Hang on, let me get some tools. And no, he looks at it very quickly. That's kind of strange. And then he says, "Yeah, this is completely bricked." 
Ooh, that's not good. If something no. is bricked when we're talking about a cell phone or a smartphone or an iPad, that means it's dead. It's, broken. It's broken. It's like a brick, like a piece of stone that you would use to build a wall. It's Doesn't basically work. useless. It's just a heavy weight. It has no more life left in it. You need to buy a new one. Luckily, the clerk says, we have some newer models that you'll love. Here's... Oh, no, 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 no. And then he kind of gets cut off so he's kind of saying it's not even worth trying to fix it will never come back to life you might as well move on and spend a lot of money and buy another one now Robin might not be happy with that. Very suspicious. Yeah, that's okay. a little strange. But first we have this word completely. This is the adverb that he used when he said her phone was completely bricked. It's totally broken. It's 100% not going to work. That's what completely means. Then when we use this adverb, we're talking about all, everything, 100%, absolutely, every single bit. For example, the house is completely empty. Yay. All the people are out, the pets are out, the furniture is out. There's nothing inside this house except walls and doors and windows and that's it. There's really nothing inside. It's completely empty. So, your phone is completely bricked, lady. I'm really sorry. Why don't you spend a bunch of money on a new phone? No! So Robin says, wait a minute. Time out here. You're saying my phone can't be fixed? You know this from simply glancing at it? True, he did look at it briefly, right? Briefly means a very quick look. And, well, the clerk says, Ma'am, with all due respect, I know a bricked phone when I see one. So basically he's saying, I don't mean to insult you, but I'm gonna sort of insult you because I know a lot more than you do, and this phone is a dead phone. Ugh. Trust me. But Robin is suspicious. She says, I doubt that. I think someone's just a little bit too eager for their sales commission. I'll take my business somewhere else, thank you very much. Mm. So notice the way she's talking. She isn't really saying, thank you, I'm so glad you're helping me. She's saying, oh, thanks, but no, because I don't believe you. Mm. I think you're just trying to sell me something. Absolutely. Well, and he did just glance at the phone, right? It's not like he looked at it really carefully before. That's right. So glance means just looking very quickly, like, oh, Oh, it's broken. I'm sure it's broken. Glancing isn't careful, so that's why Robin wasn't sure that the clerk was telling the truth. So here I have a sentence for you. Bill glanced at his watch with a bored expression on his face. Ugh, when is this meeting over? Yeah, when you glance at something, you take a, just a quick look. And mm -hmm. that can be okay, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to see the time, you just need to glance at your watch. But if you're making sure that a, an expensive machine is actually broken, you might look at it a little more carefully. So yeah, Robin feels that the clerk is too eager to sell her a phone. When you're eager about something, this adjective means you're excited, you're enthusiastic, you're keen. This is something you really want to do. It might be because it's fun, right? We're often eager about things that, oh, I can't wait to do this or go here or see these people or something. Yay, this is going to be great. You're eager to do that. In this case, he was eager to get her money. Oh, too by, eager. Yeah, by selling her a new phone. But in our example sentence, here's a more fun type of being eager. Tammy was eager to see her favorite band play. She's going to go to the, the May Day or the BTS concert tomorrow. She's really excited. Oh. She's not like, oh, yay, I get to see BTS. Oh, it's going to be great. No, she's really excited. And you know what I'm eager for? I bet you can guess. To take a break? I'm eager to take a break. So let's do that, and then we'll be back. Hello, 大家好,我是Hanny. 今天的课程是关于最新的电子产品。在第一段对话里面呢, Robin他的手机没办法开机, 他就请店员帮他看一下。结果店员还真的只是看一下,就一下而已。他快速看一眼就说, Yeah, this is completely bricked. 他完全变砖了, 然后就准备要向他来推销新的手机型号. 文中用到bricked, 它是口语用法, 常常用来指电子装置, 像是手机啊, 平板电脑等等, 它没有办法运作, 
。这个损坏之后就跟砖头没两样，所以网友也常常会用变砖了来描述这个东西。好，那么单词 latest latest 它是形容最新的、最近的。Completely completely 它是指彻底的、完全的。好，那这个店员他光看一眼就知道那只手机没办法修。Robin 觉得觉得这个人也太随便，他太急着想要推销东西，想要得到佣金，他很不高兴，决定要去别间问问看了。好，这边有两个单词 ，glance。Glance， 它是动词，表示迅速看一眼，快速瞥一眼。那么 eager， eager 是形容词，形容急切的、渴望的、热切的。我们来补充两个意思相近的形容词 ，keen， k e e n， keen 是形容渴望的、热切的。还有 enthusiastic， e n t h u s i a s t i c， enthusiastic 就表示热情的、热烈的。那我们进入到课文中。Vinny and Robin are having dinner. What do you think? Phew! Are they really worth seven thousand NT dollars? Well, they're noise-canceling headphones, and I never have to worry about tangled cables. For me, that's worth it. How's the battery life? Seven hours per charge, and the case can hold two extra charges. Twenty-one hours is. Pretty good, not great. I had to save up for weeks to buy them. Aren't they supposed to be white? They look a bit yellow. They're waterproof, right? So the latest technology. We just talked about a bricked phone. That's not the latest technology. No. No. But the new phone would be the latest technology. Here's something that is、uh, would definitely be called the latest technology: wireless、no. headphones, like those AirPods. AirPods too. Things like that that people or AirPods Two Pro. Oh yeah. Ooh, fancy. All right. Well, let's look at who's using wireless headphones. It says Vinny and Robin. Are having dinner. Okay, they're they're meeting and they're chatting and they're you know enjoying a nice meal together. So Vinny begins, and we read Vinny shows her shows Robin his new wireless headphones. Hey hey hey, look what I got! And then when you show someone something new that you're excited about, you might say, "What do you think? Tell me, do you like them? You know that kind of idea. They're new." <laughs> Ooh, so Robin says, "Woo! Wow! I mean, that's amazing. Are they really worth seven thousand and T?" Ooh, yeah. Actually, they are quite expensive, right? Are、oh, they even worth it? These wireless headphones. So, are they worth it? You paid a lot. Is it really money that you spent in a in a good way?、Uh, I don't really see why you would pay that much. That's kind of what Robin is saying. Vinny says, "Well, they're noise canceling headphones,、uh-huh, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. I and I never have to worry about tangled cables." It's true. They're they're wireless. There are no wires to get all. Tangled up in your pocket, and he says, "For me, that's worth it." All right, so they're noise canceling.、Okay. You can wear them, and you don't hear like loud sounds around you, and they're wireless, so you know they they won't cause problems in my life. So that that makes sense. I、yes. think Robin has another question, though. She says,、mm. "How's the battery life?" Ooh, that's a good question.、Yeah. The battery life. How long does the battery last? Right, with most cell phones, the battery life can last you probably all day, unless you use it a lot. So you know, how long can you use it before you need to recharge it, plug it in to get more power? Vinny explains seven hours per charge. So each time he plugs it in and gets to a hundred percent, he can then use them for seven hours before it gets back down to zero. Oh, and that's the, good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And the case can hold two extra charges. Oh, that's really good. So they come with that little box, and you put them in there. There's a little battery in there. You can do that two more times. So she does some math, right? And what does she come up with? Ah,、oh, 
so I mean, I think it's really good, but I think Robbins mm. thinks maybe not great. Mm -hmm. She says twenty one hours 21 is hours. pretty good, mm. not great. Yeah, so seven per charge, and then you can get two more from the box. Twenty one hours, that's pretty good, but not great. She says Vinny then says mm. I had to save up for weeks to buy them. He kind of feels like she's not too excited about this. She's like, oh, that's she not isn't. so good, and mm, I don't think that's great either. He's like, hey, they cost me a lot of money, and I really like them, so you should be nicer to my headphones. She's not as enthusiastic, and she has another pressing question. She says, aren't they supposed to be white? They look a bit yellow. Ooh, yeah, well, if they're those, uh, those AirPods, right, the Apple ones, they are supposed to be white not yellow they should be super white this is weird so it says Vinny takes a closer look at his headphones maybe puts them in the light so he can see them more clearly and then <gasps> he drops what? one in his glass of water why oh Vinny turns pale so his the new headphones might not be so good and now one of them is swimming that's but we really, on purpose? That's really not good. No, this was an accident. Uh oh. Okay, yeah. well, Robin's like, they're waterproof, right? Ooh, ooh. We don't know. We certainly hope so. Are they fake? I don't know, but they're definitely swimming now. At least one of them is. So, yes, hopefully they're waterproof. <laughs> we don't know if they're any good. Vinny might have wasted a lot of money, and even that's if they were good, T. he's got to buy some more. All right, well, be careful with your wireless headphones out there. Make sure you buy the right ones, and definitely don't drop them in your water unless they're waterproof. Oh, don't do that either. Yeah, take care, everyone. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Wireless headphones, this is Wuxian Vinny, he is very excited to show the new to Robin. Robin is not very excited. He asked, Is this really a thousand dollar Vinny explained, It is a thousand dollar headphone. And he doesn't have to worry about the sound problem. So he thinks it is worth it. As for his battery charge, he can charge it for seven hours. He can charge it in the charging port. Robin said, Hmm, it is a thousand dollar headphone. 小时是不错啦，可是也没有到很棒的程度啊。那接着他就问说：“哎、欸，你这手机不是应该白色的吗？怎么看起来有点黄黄的、啊？” Vinny 他拿起自己的耳机，在那边仔细的看。就在这个时候，这个 moment， 其中一只耳机掉进水杯里了。Vinny 整个脸色发白。他可是存了好几个礼拜的钱才买到的。希望这个东西是有防水的。我们来补充一下 waterproof， waterproof 就是防水的。这个字尾 proof， 它就可以表达防。什么耐什么的，像我们可以说 fireproof 防火的、耐火的 ，bulletproof 防弹的，还有 soundproof 就是隔音的。好，那这个段落呢有两个文法重点，我们进入文法时间。大家好，我是时尚界的女神 Fanny， 我们来看这些文法重点。第一个就是 worth 的用法，第一种呢你可以表达说值得什么，值得做什么事情，我们用 be worth 后面接名词或动名词，像是 the movie is worth watching。就是说，那部电影值得一看。那你也可以问说 ，Is the town worth a visit？ 那座城镇它值得造访吗？好，第二个重点，你可以用 worth 来表达值多少钱。那这个用法就是 be worth 加上金额。像你可以说 ，The painting is now worth five million dollars。那幅画现在价值五百万美元。好，那另外补充一下 ，worth it 则是固定用法。我们来看到常见的句型哦。第一种，你可以用。Something is worth it. 例如 ，This laptop is more expensive, but it's worth it. 这台笔电比较贵，不过它是很值得的哦。第二个句型你可以用 It is worth it 加上不定词。这时候那个 it 它是虚主词，用来代替句尾的不定词。例如 ，Do you think it's worth it to spend a lot of money on a luxury watch? 你认为花很多钱去买一只奢华手表值得吗？你可以画在我身上啊。啊，不是乱讲的。
再看第二个重点是句型 be supposed to 加上动词是表达应该怎么样。来看它的两个用法。第一个，如果你的 be 动词使用现在式，就表达应该怎么样，被预期应该怎么样。这是用来表达说你预期啊，或是认为某人或某事物他应该会做某事。举例来说 ，Everyone is supposed to meet Anne at the entrance at 7 a.m. 所有的人应该七点在入口碰面。那第二个用法，如果你的 be 动词是用过去式，就表达原本应该怎么样，却没有这样，用来表达说你认为过去应该会发生的事，可是实际上却没有发生。举例来说 ，We were supposed to meet an hour ago。我们原本应该在一小时前碰面的，可是却没有。你居然敢放我这个文法界女神鸽子，你惨了！好，对不起。好，我们接下来就文法讲到这里。我我先。去谢谢，让自己心情平静下来。拜拜，拜拜。拜拜 Robin sits down at a service desk. A clerk sits across from her. Hi, I have a problem with my cell phone. It won't turn on. I can take a look at it for you. Yeah, this is completely bricked. Luckily, we have some newer models that you'll love. Here's. Wait a minute. You're saying my phone can't be fixed? You know this from simply glancing at it? Ma'am, with all due respect, I know a bricked phone when I see one. I doubt that. I think someone's just a little bit too eager for their sales commission. I'll take my business somewhere else. Thank you very much. Vinny and Robin are having dinner. What do you think? Phew, are they really worth seven thousand NT dollars? Well, they're noise-canceling headphones, and I never have to worry about tangled cables. For me, that's worth it. How is the battery life? Seven hours per charge, and the case can hold two extra charges. Twenty-one hours is pretty good, not great. I had to save up for weeks to buy them. Aren't they supposed to be white? They look a bit yellow. They're waterproof, right? And I'm Matt. We're gonna play a game called Word Drop. We have three vocabulary words from your lesson that we haven't seen before, and we're gonna try to work them into a conversation as casually as possible. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Okay. All right. Um, so I was working really late last night, and uh, by the time I got home, it was it was so dark. I was looking through my bag to find my keys. And I couldn't find it at all,、Ooh. so I had to turn on the light on my phone to find them. Oh, well, that's a good way to find things. You have a flashlight on your phone. You can、uh, look for things that are in the dark.、Um, that's pretty good. I think you know what I really like. I like the old school flashlights that are really big. That's what a flashlight is supposed to be. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm. Getting used to the new flashlights as well, and、uh, I actually,、uh, you know, was looking to to buy a new flashlight recently. Oh, really? And I was looking through the、uh, through the advertisements, and and I saw a really great one at a low price, and I'm really eager to buy it. Wow, that's that's good. I like flashlights.、Um, I also like eating at restaurants. Cause it's fun, and I don't have to cook. I really don't like cooking. I'm just the worst cook ever. There's nothing that I can make in the kitchen. It will just—I don't know—in the kitchen, everything is completely messy, and I just can't cook at all. I don't know if you're any good at cooking, but I—I myself am not. Well,、um, I have tried cooking a bit. I try and—I do try and watch some、uh, cooking shows. Actually, I like to watch the cooking. <laughs> The、uh, cooking TV shows where they're making new things, and I can、uh, 
the competition ones. I like to see who was the latest winner. Oh, do you like to watch the ones with the kids or the adults? Because sometimes I think uh, the kid ones are more aggressive. They like to uh, fight each other in the kitchen. You know, fight each other with words, I mean, not with right, uh, right. spatulas or anything like that. But I wouldn't really know too much because I don't watch a lot of TV. I only glance at it sometimes. All right. <laughs> See you next time!